All right, let's do a little bell work here. I don't always do these in the videos unless I think it's a pretty helpful problem, a super-duper awesome helpful problem. Uh, this is something that people get tripped up on all the time, <clears throat> so we're going to do it. Um, we want to find the area of the triangle. Remember, the base and the height need to be perpendicular. Base must be perpendicular. That is just absolutely terrible. Oh, my goodness. Base must be perpendicular to the height, right? Um, that's not an official notation, but we're going to use it. All righty. So my base of this triangle is the 7, and the height is actually the 10. If you remember back to a long time ago, can an altitude be drawn outside the triangle? Yes, it can. A median cannot, but an altitude can. Remember what I said in the last video? Just remember everything, and you'll get an A in this class. There you go. Remember everything. All right. Area equals 1 half base times height. And we can get our area, which is going to be, what, 35 units squared. All right. Hashtag remember. Oh, wait, be hipper. Error, th error thing. There we go. Then you'll get an A. All right, area of trapezoids coming at you. It's going to be cray. Finna going to be cray. All right, so here's our formula for the area of a trapezoid. Now, if you remember back to uh, trapezoids, they do have two bases. By the way, this should say base 2, like B, subscript 2, and this should be B with a subscript 1, so it matches the formula. Well, we have two bases, so we have to account for both of them. Um, so we basically, this part of the formula, we're averaging the bases. Base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2, then multiply it by our height. Height has to be perpendicular to both bases, right? Base, height, they're perpendicular. All right, so you can jot that one down. We've got a few versions of this formula as well. Another formula to jot down, a median. A median of a trapezoid is a segment that connects the what of the opposite legs of the trapezoid? Midpoints. Okay, so if I take the midpoint here, boom, congruent. Midpoint here, boom, congruent. They don't all have to be the same, unless it's an isosceles trapezoid. But anyways, it connects the midpoints. Your median is the average of the bases. Base 1 plus base 2 over 2, or 1 half base 1 plus base 2. My goodness! Um, all right, guess I'll write that down. And then I'll go back to, oh my goodness! This looks like a piece of the area formula, doesn't it? Hmm, stay tuned, children. But first, this length here would be 10. That looks like a 6. 10. Um, 6 plus 14 is 20 divided by 2 is 10. So, whoo, that's fun. I probably won't ever ask you to find the length of the median, but I might give you the median and a base and ask you to find another base. Because <laughs> I'm just cray-cray like that. All right, here we go. So there's a few formulas for our area of a trapezoid. Well, I guess really two. You can do height times the median, H times median. I don't know why this became a question mark, but your height times your median is one of them. Obviously, the uh, the original that we had written down, whether you write it as one half times height times base one plus base two, or you base one plus base two over two times your height, whatever, um, both reliable or both useful. Um, the only thing is, you might be like, "Well, do I really need this one down here?" If I give you a problem where I say the height and the median are this, find the area. You'd have to know this guy right here, okay? So do jot that down. Do know it. Uh, it can be useful, or I could say, hey, the median is this, and the area is this, what's the height, right? So this one is still useful based on information that I give you, okay? This is the most commonly used, though, because you're if you're measuring something, you're going to get those dimensions to find your area. All right, so we want to find the area of the isosceles trapezoid. Good stuff. Um, so if I'm finding the area of the isosceles trapezoid, I am going to need to... Uh, Probably find a height of something, don't you think? I think so. Let's drop an altitude down. Pew. Perpendicular, right, to both bases. Oh, my goodness. I have myself a 30-degree angle up here because the other one's 60, the other one's 90. 30, 60, 90. What? That is cray-cray. All right. If only there was some other information that I could get because I have my two bases. I just need a height. Hmm. Could I figure that out? Well, if it's isosceles, if I were to drop this down, this would be 14, leave me with 6, so 3 and 3. Uh-oh, 
SpaghettiO, what do I have? I've got my side that's across from the 30, which means that my height is equal to that times root 3. All right. I've got what I need. So my area is my height, 3 root 3, times base 1 plus base 2. doesn't really matter which one's which because it's addition. It's commutative. All over 2. So I've got, what, 34, right? So I'm going to do this so it's easier without a calculator. I'm going to make this 34 over 2. I'm going to reduce this down to 17. 17 times 3 is, what, 51 root 3. That's inches squared. So quick recap in case I went a little too fast for you with the uh, review of 306090s. But I dropped my altitudes. If it's an isosceles trapezoid, I know that these two lengths have to be the same. So this guy right here, uh, I've created a rectangle, so 14 and 14, right? Opposite sides are congruent in a rectangle. And I found my leftovers of 6 and divided by 2. All right, that's how I got those guys, and then I used my 30-60-90 ratios. Woo, fun. Well, looky here. Find the area of a trapezoid if its height is 5 inches and the median of the trapezoid is 12 inches. Remember when we wrote down that one formula, area equals h times median? And I said, hey, that could come in handy. Here it is. Height is 5. Median is 12. 60 inches squared. Whoop, whoop. Find the area of the trapezoid below. All right, this is not isosceles, uh, but it does say it's a trapezoid. We'll assume the ones that look parallel are parallel. So, um, hmm, generally, I, well, I'd need, don't I need this length here, right? I've got my height. I've got, let's say, base one, but I need base two. I don't have that. Hmm. Well, maybe I can do some smart things. Let's see here. If I drop an altitude right here, this is 12, right? And I've just created a rectangle, so that means this is 16, kind of like the last problem. Um, okay, well... I've got a something 12-15 triangle, and if you remember everything, as I said, to be successful in this class and get an A, you just need to remember everything. This is a triple-triple, a 3-4-5 that's been tripled. That makes this 9 centimeters. So the entire side length here is 9 plus 16, which is 25. All right. So area is equal to 1 half my height of 12. And then base 1 plus base 2, so 16 plus 25. That's good stuff, right? Um, so 1 half times 12 is 6. And then this guy is, what, 41? 6 times 41. Well, that's going to be, what, 246? Yeah, we'll go with that. Hopefully I'm right. Perfect. All right. Again, we have to find a missing piece of information. That's the general theme here. I'm either asking you for a missing piece of information or you're finding a missing piece of information to get that area. All right. Perfect. So area is that. Lovely. Find the shorter base of a trapezoid. If the area is 52 square meters, its altitude is 8 meters, and its longer base is 10 meters. Okay. Well, I'm going to draw a trapezoid, which may or may not be an isosceles, so I won't draw it as one. The longer base is 10. Uh, the height, why don't we just make it an isosceles right, because that makes it easy. I'll say that that's 8, right? The altitude's 8. Um, the area is 52, and I want to find my shorter base. Well, I'll just plug everything in our formula. My area is equal to my height times... Uh, base 1 plus base 2 all over 2. Now we could multiply by 2 or I could just, I'm just going to simplify these out, make that a 4. Alright, so I've got 52 equals, and I'll go ahead and distribute it, and you could choose to do this slightly different with your algebra. I could have divided everything by 4. Right, we got options. We got options. Um, now I'll subtract 40. 12 is equal to 4x. So x equals Three. All right, here's my shorter base. Ooh, I like you this problem here. 
I like this problem quite a bit. The consecutive sides of an isosceles trapezoid are in the ratio of 2 to 5 to 10 to 5. And the trapezoid's perimeter is 44. Find the area. This sounds like a little bit of a doozy here. I'm going to draw myself an isosceles trapezoid. Okay. It says the trap there are 2 to 5 to 10 to 5. So where do I start? Oh, wait. I know where to start. Well, 5 and 5 are the same. That's got to be uh, the two side lengths, right? So I'll make this guy 2x, 5x, 10x, and 5x again, right? Go in order. Common mistake a lot of people make that uh, are always made on those ratio problems. A lot of you made that in the circles unit. Um, is not going in order, okay? Make sure you go in the order that we give it to you, cool? All right, the perimeter is 44, so all those should add up to 44, right? 5 plus 2 plus 10 plus 5, or sorry, 5 plus 2 plus 5 plus 10. That is what, 22x is equal to 44. How wonderful, x equals 2 when I solve. All right, so what's my important information? If I plug 2 and I get 4 for this base, and I get 20 for this base, but I don't know my height. I need my height. It's an isosceles trapezoid, right? Boom. So that means... Um, this part is 4, and if the whole thing's 20, that's 16 left over, so this is 8 and 8, right? If I split that up, and then if I plug 2 in here, I get 10, so this is an 8, 6, 10, right? A triple double, I've got my height of 6, base 1 is 4, and base 2 is 20. And if that went a little too fast, pop back. See again how we broke that up into a rectangle and two triangles. Used our 3, 4, 5 triangle that's been doubled to get that height. Okay? Plug it into our formula. Area equals 1 half. My height, which is 6 times base 1 plus base 2. So this simplifies down to 3. And that's 24. Right? So then what do I end up with here? 72. I like it. And that's no units, so units squared. Boom. That was pretty dope. Pretty dope indeed. Alrighty then. So once again, guys, ignore this for now. Uh, those days do change from year to year. And these videos do not. Right? I wouldn't re-record every year. That's cray cray. Because uh, my videos are just too awesome and gold. Wonderful. Alrighty. You guys have a wonderful day. Do your homework. Practice things. By the way, do you get that joke? Ah, uh, square to 16 is 4. Just yell 4. <laughs> uh, that's what I would do on the golf course.